Okay, for this video, I want to talk about 20 habits that fit people have. Um, I've tried to incorporate some of these in my own life. I do find they are helpful, so I figured I would include the list. Um, anyway, so first, start off with a breakfast to fuel your day. Studies show eating breakfast helps improve focus um, and energy levels throughout the day. You'll be more productive at work, will work harder during your workouts, and you have, you may have reduced calories and hunger later in the day. Sounds like a win-win-win to me. Drink lots of water. Um, drinking plenty of water throughout the day will help maintain your body's fluid balance so that nutrients can be transported throughout the day. That means that you will be more quickly reap the benefits to your healthy foods you eat. Drinking water throughout the day helps you feel full. It may sound crazy, but many people mistake thirst for hunger and end up overeating. Um, it is also important to drink water because when you stress and work your muscles in the gym, they are losing water. If you aren't drinking enough water, your muscles will get tired faster and you may not be able to work as hard. So drink up, medica. Step three, well, habit three, uh, set a deadline. Habit four, don't leave your healthy eating goals to chance. Plan your meals, freeze them, just don't leave it to chance. Um, find something that works for you as far as that goes. Uh, step five, well, habit five, eat whole real foods. This may be hard, um, especially to do on a budget, but there are ways. Uh, so habit six, dedicate time to your mental health as well. Physical health is important, but it is also important to take care of your mental health. Step, uh, habit seven, learn to be, learn to politely picky when eating out. Um, habit eight, take your workout with you. Um, habit nine, fill your home with healthy, nourishing foods. Um, this one can be hard, like for me, it's really difficult because with my boyfriend and his dad, they have a lot of soda um, and unhealthy stuff. I mean, we do have some healthy stuff. Like last night, we had ham and potatoes, and um, they don't particularly eat a lot of vegetables, so I have to make vegetables just for myself. And when I make meals, I have to make meals for one. Um, this is difficult because I have always been poor, and... Making meals for one is difficult. So I always made meals for five or six people. And so even if there was only two of us, I'd make meals for five or six people and then it would go bad before I have a chance to eat it all or it was something that couldn't be frozen and didn't come out right if I froze it. So that might also help is learning how to cook for one, what can be frozen, what can't. Um, you know, anyway, habit 10, drink green tea. Um, there's actually a super potent nutrition found uh, exclusively in green tea that has been shown to help break down fat and discourage new fat cells. Um, it can also help with energy. Uh, habit 11, take a lunch break, walk. So during your lunch break, you may have time to, you know, eat. And then after you eat, go for a little walk to get your body moving. Um, Habit 12, count colors, not calories. While keeping portions under control is crucial to keeping weight at bay, one of the best ways to put together a well-balanced plate is by observing the variety of colors before you. Um, I do this a lot with my vegetables. I try to switch it up, and, you know, um, and with my fruit too. So habit 13, schedule workouts in advance. Signing up for a cardio class ahead of time or scheduling sessions with your trainer for the week ahead is a good way to force yourself to stick to your fitness routine. We all have lazy days, but scheduling in your workouts help ensure you won't skip them. Uh, habit 14. Don't overdo exercise. On the flip side, fitness folks know that rest is just as important as activity. Um, it's, it's possible to overdo it at the gym and exhaust yourself to the point where you are no longer productive. Uh, taking days off to rest your body and to allow your body to recover is equally as important as working it out in the first place. Don't be afraid to give yourself a day off in between your workouts. Habit 15, get sleep. If you're serious about getting healthier and losing your little weight, 
skip the late night television and get some sleep already. It will make things, those morning workouts, a lot more bearable too. Um, habit 16. Recognize and tame emotional eating. Boredom and stress can sometimes trigger unhealthy craving, but it's worth exploring other ways to deal with those feelings, and that's exactly what healthy folks do. It may sound silly at first, but lighting candles, journaling, getting a massage, or even sitting outside can calm stress and emotional eating. Habit 17. Be active outside the gym. Making it to the gym a few days during the week is a task in itself. However, those who put a premium on lifestyle don't stop there. Healthy folks weave activity into their everyday life by taking walks during lunch, playing tennis on the weekends, or playing tag with your kids. These are all very important things to do. Um, one of the things I like to do is go for a walk. Um, another thing would be this summer I actually plan on doing um, Dog's Day Out at the Humane Society and taking a dog with me and seeing if I can have a dog come up uh, to kill with me in Eddington. Um, that program is amazing. I haven't done it yet, but I, I love the idea of being able to, I can't own a dog. Where I live, I can't. But, I do have a car, I can take the dog out for the day and go on a hike. And that would, I that just sounds amazing to me. Um, so, habit 18 is ignore the scales. Weighing yourself can give you a decent indication of where you are and where you should be regarding your weight, but it's not necessarily the best indicator of health and fitness. Your body mass index, how your clothes fit, what your energy levels are like daily, and your animal checkups with your doctor will give you a better sense of where you stand in terms of health and overall fitness. So when I was at my healthiest, um, I was about 220. I was still above the BMI level. But for myself, I've been depressed since I was 14. I haven't been that low in weight since about 13. Um, but the way I felt was amazing. My clothes fit better. I was down to a size 16. Um, I had plenty of energy. I, did, I wasn't breathing as heavy. Um, my heart problems weren't acting up as much. So for me, that was the best weight whether uh, the scales or anything else said anything. Um, habit number 19 is be mindful of steps. So I have a little fitness tracker, as you can see. But, yeah. but to calculate steps and how much I walk throughout the day. But this isn't talking about those kind of steps. Um, this is talking more about the steps of physical fitness. So like... Step one might be, okay, get to the gym once. Okay, you get to the gym once. Step two, okay, let's see if I can make it three times and I'll start slow. You know, taking those small steps and not just jumping in and saying, I'm going to run a mile. Well, that's great, but that's setting you up for failure. Um, and habit number 20 is cheat. Don't derail. They might fall off the wagon for one meal or one day or maybe even one week hello vacation but fit people never let it turn into a long-term thing allowing yourself to eat what you want every now and then is certainly important for your sanity um, but most of all it's more realistic by balancing your diet and healthy eating lifestyle in this way you're more likely to stick to your ha healthy habits in the long term. Um, I just, you know, began, as I said, uh, incorporating this stuff. I personally get enough sleep most days. Um, for me, it was more being active outside the gym and recognizing and taming my emotional eating. Uh, not, you know, overdoing it and scheduling because I have a problem with that. I'm still working on it, but I just figured I'd share these 20 habits with anyone who really watches this video. So thank you for listening.